Hi, boys and girls. It's Gail Washington with Ministry Training University. It is time for Truth Missionary Story, and we have a special, special guest today. And her name is Miss Lauren Hickman, and she's going to be telling you the story and missionary story about Mary Slesser. So sit up straight. It's going to be a great story, and she's going to tell you all about it. Take it away, Miss Hickman. We're going to talk about a missionary. Now, I want you to think for five seconds, what is a missionary? Hmm, you think about it. Are you ready? Okay, now, if you're sitting with somebody on the couch or in your living room or in your room, I want you to turn to them and tell them, what do you think a missionary is? Are you ready? Go. All right, I hope you tell them. Now, Miss Hickman thinks a missionary is a person who tells others about Jesus. It's that simple. Is that what you said? A missionary is a person who tells others about Jesus. Can we say that together? Are you ready? A missionary is a person who tells others about Jesus. You are exactly right. That's what a missionary does. And today we're going to talk about a missionary. Now, a very important job of a missionary is to give the gospel and the gospel is very simple. The gospel is the good news. And the gospel is the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now look, I want you to tuck that in the back of your head because we're going to talk about that again in just a moment. All right? So today we're going to listen to a story about a lady named Mary Slesser. Can we say that three times? Are you ready? Mary Slesser, Mary Slesser, Mary Slesser. Very good. I want you to remember that. Because next week, I want to make a way where you can answer questions. So we're going to work on that for next week, okay? So pay close attention this week, and we'll get some questions on there for next week. All right? So today's story is about Mary Slusser. Now let me tell you something about Mary Slusser. Mary Slusser lived in the country of Ireland. Do you see? Ireland is this country right here. Little country of Ireland. And Mary was a very poor girl. Did you know often Mary and her mother would sit up late and wait for her daddy to come home? They would be very late and they'd be sitting in their very cold house, shivering by the fire. And one night, finally her dad barged in the door and he slammed one coin on the table. And that was all that he had left to take care of his family because he used all the other money that he had made on alcohol and on beer and he would drink and he would stay out so late and when he would come home he would be so angry do you see his face he does not look very happy oh he would be so angry and what this evening he came home and mary had made a nice dinner for her family and he took the dinner and he threw it in the fire not because it tasted bad but just because he was a very angry man and oh then he took mary and he hit her for no reason and he threw her outside in the cold and Mary had to spend all night out in the cold. So it was not a very good life for little Mary. She took care of her family. She tried to help her mama. And her dad was not very kind to them. Very soon later, they had to sell all of their furniture in their house because they had no money for clothes and for food. So Mary did not live a very good life. One day, Mary was playing outside with her friends, and this little neighbor saw them playing out the window, and the neighbor said, Hey, girls, come inside. I have something to share with you. And this nice little old lady shared the gospel with Mary and her friends. Now, what is the gospel? The gospel is the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. And one day this old lady, this nice old lady, took the Bible, which is God's words. It's not this old lady's words. It is God's words. And the missionary shared with her the gospel. She showed her in the book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 23, that all people had sinned and come short of the glory of God. And Mary knew that day that she was a sinner. But then the missionary went on to say, you know what? Now that you have sin in your life, she took her to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. And the Bible says that all sin must be paid for. The payment for sin is death. The wages of sin is death. And so Mary knew that because she had sin in her heart, she was going to die and spend eternity separated from God. But then the missionary went on to say good news. And in Romans chapter 5 and verse 8, the Bible says, 
But God commended his love towards us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So this lady told Mary that she was a sinner and that sin had to be paid for. But the good news was that Jesus Christ died to pay for her sin. And all she had to do was pray and ask Jesus to forgive her for sin and to come into her heart and to cleanse her from that sin. And then she could spend eternity in heaven. So this nice missionary lady gave Mary the gospel. What is the gospel? It is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. You are exactly right. So that day, Mary decided to become a Christian. Well, let me tell you, Mary was so excited about knowing the good news of Jesus, and she loved going to church. Now, when Mary was just 11 years old, is anybody 11 years old? Yes, some of you are getting close. Very good. When Mary was 11 years old, she had to go to work at the factory because her dad was not bringing home any money. He got fired from his job because he was drinking so much and her mom could not make enough money to take care of her and her brothers and sisters. So Mary had to go to work. So she'd wake up early in the morning and she would go to work in the morning and then in the afternoon she would go to school. Mary worked very hard, but then by the time she was 14 years old, Mary had to stop going to school and she had to work at the factory all day, every day. Oh, she would wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and help mom get some meals ready. And then she would go to work 12 hours. And then she would come home at 6 o'clock in the evening and cook dinner for her family. So she was a very busy 14-year-old. And even though she couldn't go to school, she loved to learn. And some of you all can't go to school right now, but you love to learn. And so Mary would prop up any book she could get up on her little stand as she would work in the factory. So Mary worked every day of the week except for what day do you think? Oh, you are right. Mary did not have to work on Sundays, and she loved Sundays because she got to, to go to church and hear God's Word preached. Well, there was one special Sunday that a missionary came to her church. Now, remind me, um, what is a missionary? A missionary is a person who tells other people about Jesus, you got it. You're exactly right. So one day a missionary came to their church named William Anderson. And William Anderson was a missionary to a place called Calabar. And Calabar is in the country of Africa. In the very southern part, right here is the country of Calabar. And this missionary came and told um, her, her church family about this place called Calabar. Now, there was some interesting things about this place called Calabar. There, this country had lots of false gods. They did not trust in the true and the living God. And they believed in evil spirits. And there was even this, this theory that if you had twin little babies, you had to kill one of them because one of them brought evil spirits. Now that's not a good thing. So Mary listened to this interesting place about this place called Calabar, and she thought, oh man, I would love to go there and tell those people about Jesus. But Mary was too busy working to provide for her family, and she thought, I can't go all the way from Ireland to Calabar, because then who would take care of my family? So instead, Mary thought, I'll start a Bible study right here in Ireland. So that's exactly what she did. She started a Bible study at her church. Well, one night she was walking home from her church in the street called Queen Street. That was the street her church was on. And did you know, boys and girls, this was not a very good street. Lots of gangs hung out there. And sometimes people got hurt in these streets. But one day she was walking home and a boy, a group of boys surrounded her. So she had nowhere to learn to run. She looked forward and there was people. She looked backwards and there was mean boys. To her left and to her right, she was surrounded by these mean group of boys. And they looked at her and they had this metal piece on the end of a string. And they said, Mary, you stop this Bible club or we'll see how brave you are. And they began swinging that metal piece. And Mary watched it as it became closer and closer to her forehead. And suddenly she heard, she felt this sting across her head. 
and this boy had sliced her forehead open with this metal piece. And she just looked at him square in the eye. And she didn't say a word. <laughs> and he said, oh my, you really are brave. I guess we'll all have to come to your Bible club. So that day, that big group of boys joined Mary for her Bible study right there on Queen Street. So the Lord was using Mary in a great way. Well, then one day, Mary turned 26 years old. Now, do you know anybody that's 26 years old? Hmm. I know someone that's 26 years old. As a matter of fact, I'm 26 years old. So when Mary was my age, she thought, oh, man, I would really love to go to Africa and tell boys and girls about Jesus. So one day she went into her mom and she said, Mom, I think the Lord is calling me to go to Africa to be a missionary. Now, I want you to think for a second. How do you think her mother felt? I don't know. Maybe you can turn to the person you're sitting with and tell them, how do you think Mary felt? Maybe she felt a little scared. Maybe she was a little nervous that who would take care of her mom and her little brothers and sisters. But Mary knew that it was her time to go to Africa. So I want you to touch your nose if you think Mary's mom was excited about her going. And I want you to touch your head if you think Mary's mom was not happy about her going. Are you ready? Go. <gasps> well, if you touch your nose, you are exactly right. Mary's mom was thrilled. She thought this will be wonderful. But not everybody felt this way. Many people said, Mary, you can't go to Africa. It is a scary place. People go there to be missionaries and they only last a couple of years and then they die. You can't go do that. And next week, you come back. We'll see if Mary goes to Africa. Thank you so much for being with us today. And I look forward to seeing you next week.